So today we're putting quarter round down and we get to this corner by the stairs and you can see right in here, it's all jacked up. You got this piece of wood just stuck in here behind the stairs. It's proud of the baseboard and the quarter round is just not coming together. It looks terrible. Now these two pieces are fine. They'll cock up all right, but it's this last piece I need to get right. So what do I do? How do I how do I make that fit neatly? Because if I put that there, there's gonna be a big weird gap. And if I try to push it all the way up, it's gonna be a gap behind it. It's not not great. Well, first thing we do is take this piece and cut it at a 45 degree angle. Okay. And then we're gonna use our coping saw and cope, cope this out. Coping, you just follow this line all the way down that was left by the 45 degree cut. see it it cuts it back so there's a nice big open space yet it comes all the way out from the front it looks whole now let's try this let's, let's try to put this in place all right so when we put this piece over this one now it makes a perfect beautiful 45 cut but we still got this big gap back there in the back so how do we deal with that well we're actually gonna go ahead and and put an L cut on this bad boy just like we would a piece of wood. So I'm gonna make my mark right there on that side. Okay. And I'm gonna move it to the front. Get as close as I can. Make my mark here on the front side. And what we're gonna do is cut that little piece out again with the coping saw. Now theoretically you could make this cut on the chop saw or the table saw, but the great thing about these hand tools is you can take them with you. You don't have to keep getting up and going back to the table saw. Plus this is a really fine cut. So if you put this on a power tool, it's likely to just blast that whole thing to pieces. And that's not gonna do any good. That's just a waste of time and materials. Then you'll be back here making the same cut again. So you cut down that side. Then you cut down the front side. Take your time, just follow the line you made. Okay, and that should pop right out. Go a little bit deeper on this side, boom. So look what you've got there. Now let's see if this fits. See that is much tighter and much neater, and I like it a lot better. Let's put a little bit of caulk up in this bad boy. 